Hey guys, it is Andrea and today I'm coming at you with a haul, but I wanted to first show you guys the awesome Planner Keeper by Print Impression that is coming to his shop tomorrow. I will leave all the details down below, but I am so excited. There is some exclusive SPC goodies included in the bundle, so let's go ahead and dive in. I do have two different colors to show you guys. They both have the same content, so I'm just gonna go through one of them, but there is a pink, a blue, and then there's also a gray. The pink and the blue both have silver hardware, whereas the gold I mean, the silver does have gold. And look how cute the matching bags are. I love them. So let's go ahead and go through the pink. This is a B6 sized like planner, but a planner keeper. And you can put all your planner supplies in here or use this as a B6 planner. And I am in love. Kane has been working on this for forever. And I just think it turned out perfect there's so many different ways that you can use this let me get, let me know if you guys want to see like a setup in the comments down below but it comes with so many items so let me go ahead and pull everything out so you guys can see like the base of the planner i went ahead and kind of put everything in here last night because i was so excited i've seen all of this before um but just seeing it like all in person just got me really hyped so this is the classic planner keeper. It is in the B6 size. This is the pink one, like I said. It does come in three different colors for the bundle option. And then it also comes with two different matching accessories. So you have this one here, which has a little scalloped pocket. You can put anything in here. Um, you can put journaling cards, you can put stickers. I don't have any good examples here. You put whatever you want in here and call it a day. Um, little decorations and then on the back you have different pen slots so you can go ahead and stick your favorite pens in here they're nice and stretchy but not too stretchy that the pen is going to fall out but you can fit five different pens in here which is super cute or if you're using this for makeup you could totally put like makeup brushes in here i think using it for makeup would be really cute especially with like all the different pockets and stuff um so that is the pen organizer and then there's the catch-all zipper pouch which is just a zipper pouch with a clear front. So you can either use this functionally and put sticky notes in it, extra stickers, foiled stickers, uh, like character stickers, or you could use it with deco. So you could like decorate it. You could put stickers on here. I'd probably put um, a sticky note and some like loose character stickers and maybe some like functional sticker sheets, like maybe the matte labels. And then I would probably do like a clear vinyl with like foil on the front just so that you can kind of like have a decoration but you can still see all of the contents. The next thing that it comes with is a 10 piece dashboard organizer set and Kane went full luxe with this one. These are so high quality. If you guys know, if you have, let's say, man, this is actually my release binder. If you guys have these ones, like the ones that you get from like Amazon, these are like super cheap and like they get really wrinkly and they're just kind of like a wreck especially the character sticker ones that are four by or two by four i feel like they rip all the time these are like that really nice like um like a heavier duty plastic so they're gonna last longer and they fit kits perfectly we're just gonna keep using the fellowship kit which is currently in the shop so how stinking perfect so you can fit most kits you can fit foil bundles you can fit character stickers you could fit um like for example once more with love stickers let me see if i have two sheets of those in a section here we go so you can fit character stickers like this which is super cute and they fit perfectly two by two which i love that like how adorable does that look it's perfect so Love these for sticker organization, but I'm sure y'all will come up with lots of ways to use them. So you get 10 of those and then you get this, which is really cool. I haven't seen this in person. I've seen these in person and also the kit, um, but I haven't seen this in person. And this is a sticky note dashboard and there's five of them on here. These are 1.5 inches wide, so you can stick them in the columns of your planners, your monthlies or whatever that are 1.5 wide and they will fit perfectly. And then there's this large one, which you guys know I love, a sticky note with a lot of space to write. But what I really like about this is this, I thought was gonna be like a cardboard, but it's a really nice like plastic. And it's just, I don't know, it just feels like heavy duty luxe. It's not going to like rip on you. And it also has the print Prussian logo in foil, 
which is so nice. But yeah, this is like a nice heavy duty, like once you use all the sticky notes, I feel like you could use a little bit of undo and get the back one off and then use this as a dashboard or like as a, like a back, what are they called? Like a fly leaf or the one you put in the back so it holds it up, a page lifter, that's what it's called. But there is that. And then there's also some exclusive SPC goodies. These will only be offered in Kane's shop. So if you wanna purchase them, you definitely need to do so through print pression. So this is exclusive art to Kane. And then also this foil bundle pattern is exclusive to Kane as well. So let's go through the kit. This is on the premium matte paper, like last year's Cyber Monday Mystery. I think there's another kit we did in the premium matte, but I don't remember. But it's on that buttery premium matte that works with like most pens. Like I use the Energel Clena, my favorite pen ever, um, and it works perfectly fine on this. I haven't ha had any gel pens not work on it, um, but super nice, very luxe, and you get lots of pages in here. And this is exclusive art by Kittenish Girl Jess. I think it's just perfection. I love the colors and the theme. It's very just like planner, like planner. It's like a planner sanctuary. This is the vibes. I love the little print impression logo in here, all of his boxes. You do have the planner keeper in here as well featured. And then like the print impression website, you have Kane, a planner girl over here. And then this page here, you have some labels, the extra color labels, a double box, which has the planner keeper, the kit, the foil in there. It's lovely. Then you have a tall box here with another fashion option. I love the patterns in here. I mentioned this in my um, new releases. I showed the kit at the end. I love these patterns. They're like a grid, which is so cane, and then they have the print impression bow over it. I hope he comes out with covers of those because I just think they're really cute and like minimalistic, but still has the bow and like lots of really pretty colors as well. Then you have the glitter headers and other stickers, half boxes, quarter boxes, layering items and icons, deco weekend banner, uh, weekly check boxes, flags, work stickers, bottom washi, and date covers. Like how pretty. This one would be a really great um, spiral cover with the like rainbow. Then you have more labels. This is the solid page, the pattern page where you can see those patterns more. And then you have extra fashion options on top. I love the print impression hoodie. So dang cute labels and 15 millimeter strip. So what I love about this kit is I feel like you could totally stretch this, especially because there's so many dang full boxes and labels throughout. So love that. And then let's go through the foil bundle. So this is our normal six page foil bundle. It does come with two of the full box pages. So it has full boxes and header overlays. Um, so these are all for your full boxes. You can overlay them. And then these are for glitter header overlays, but how pretty is this pattern? It is in a sparkly hollow. So you get two pages of those as well as two pages of sparkly hollow bougie boxes, a page of the icons as well as the scripts. And then last but not least, you do have the 15 millimeter strip overlays, the fancy headers, the deco, and then the date numbers. So that is everything that comes with the bundle. And like I said, you do get to pick your color. So you could pick either blue, gray, or pink. Uh, gray being the only option with gold hardware, but the rest have silver. And it does come with so many items. And then I think, it, I don't remember if it's for the first 24 hours or I think I have like the little card somewhere. I think it's the first 48 or 24 hours. It's going to be 40% off, which is totally crazy. I think the regular price is, is um, $119 for everything. Um, I think that's what it was, but I'll, I'll leave it down below. And then it's coming out Saturday, July 10th at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, four year anniversary bundle, 40% off, valid from um, 7.10 to 7.11. So over 24 hours and the code is for your family for 40% off. So that is a great deal because y'all know alone, this is about $30 and then the foil, which is behind it is about 16. So that in itself is what, like 45, $46 just for the kit itself. And then you're getting the rest for about the same at 40% off. What is that exactly? Around. My math's not good. So let's see, 10.6. That's not right. 119 one, times 0. 0.6. $71. So I feel like it's a really good deal. Can't wait to see how you guys set these up. I've seen a couple setups already on Instagram and I am so excited to finally have 
the product and be able to play around with it. But I have a ton more in this haul, so stay tuned and let's get into hey guys. it. guys, so this might be a start of a haul. Who even knows? Let's go ahead and get into it. I have a lot to show you guys. I have a bug bite. I have a lot of bug bites, actually. I have a lot to show you guys because I haven't hauled anything in like three weeks, I think. Actually, it doesn't seem that wild for three weeks, TBH, but let's go ahead and get everything shishiated. Push that that way. So let's do, um, let's do Oso Paper first. Let's actually do the two subscriptions first because I actually did end up canceling both of these subscriptions. I think I have a couple more months of this one um, left because I did pay for the year. And then I did also cancel my um, Babe box. I love both of these subscriptions. You guys know every single month that I get them, I rave about them. But over this past month, I have started moving all my stuff from my office at home and my office that I had at work. I still had some stuff there into my new house. And I have a lot of stuff, which makes me just feel like I don't need subscriptions currently, but I probably will be back once I get my life organized. Maybe that can be a reward. I'm like looking at all of this stuff on the floor of getting it all organized. But this month, um, oh, so paper is a ice cream set and it came with this, which is a candle, I believe. Let's go ahead and open this. So this came in a box and some of this stuff was a little squished because of the candle. But like the thing with stickers is even when they're squished, right? You just lay them out and you stick them and then they're not squished anymore. So it doesn't really matter. So let's go through this first. So looks like this is from Posh Candle Co. Which I have never heard of before. I don't think that there is any information. I think this is just the mystery item. Also, sorry if you guys can hear like some weird noises, but Bennett's room is above me and he just went to bed. So he might be like fiddling around a little bit. So um, this is Posh Candle Co. on the sweet side, buttercream cake. So this is nice. I definitely will use this. It smells really good, just like the name, the buttercream cake. And then it also came with some matchsticks, which I could always use those. Those are really cool with the black on there. So that is super cute. Definitely will use that. It also came with the like sticker of the month, which has the girls with the sweet balloons. Oh, it's not an ice cream. It's just a sweet tooth themed. And then this is the little postcard here. It also came with a washi roll. I'm not going to unroll it. I'm actually going to do a huge, I kind of want to do like a declutter series or just like a washi declutter or like I don't know. I've already started to declutter some things, but washi I know for sure. Maybe like washi, die cuts, and sticky notes I could do a declutter of. And then I need to do like a sticker declutter again. I wanted my character stickers because I did just do those, but I have some other categories that like foil that could be decluttered. So it also came with these super cute little vellums. So this one has the girls with the balloons. And then you have this adorable one that's just clear with sprinkles. And then this rainbow one with hollow foil. Hollow? Yes that has little lollipops on it with, I love the rainbow. Um, this would be perfect for probably um, A5 and smaller, I think, possibly, if my memory serves me correctly. And then there is the little magnet, and then there is also the sticker book. So basically every month, like it says on here, you usually get a sticker book, sticker of the month, um, a quote sticker, I don't know what that one was. Quote sticker, magnet, and postcard, and mystery item. So I feel like instead of the quote sticker, we got the the like papers. Um, so you always kind of get like the same amount of stuff, kind of, and like kind of like a core selection of things. So this is just the sticker book. Okay, there's some foiling in here, which is super cute. So I'll just go ahead and flip through this. You have some full boxes. These look like happy planner size, but they're 1.5 wide, so they would work anywhere. And then you have some pages of clear stickers. So that one's clear. And then the rest of these are on a matte paper. And like I said, some of them are foiled. Some of them are not. And those are these stickers. So super cute. And I have been subscribed for, I feel like a long time. It's probably been a year, if not more by now, but there's that. And then we'll go into our second subscription, which is the Honey Bee Shop, which is called the Babe Box. 
I really love this subscription. I'm actually all using these in my organization um, as I'm going through and decluttering things. I am using these um, to like put inserts and things that are cut to specific sizes. And then I think I'll like write with maybe like metallic sharp or like B6 on it or something like that. Um, but I am actually using these, so it works out really nice. So I love having those. Um, this looks like a mermaid theme, which is super cute. The thing is, is like, I know I'm probably gonna have mad regrets about unsubscribing, but she does usually bring things back to the shop like extras. So if I'm ever like dying, I could always purchase it that way. But, and then also I think possibly she might show the theme before, like you could see the theme and then subscribe. So I have that option too. So the first thing here is a super cute little pen case. Love that, adorable, definitely will use that. There is also some washi tape, so it looks like there is a five millimeter and a, or a 10 millimeter and a 15 millimeter possibly foiled. There is a little keychain which you could also use as like a planner charm. Just super cute. So you have a little seashell, bubbles, and a little star. I love the more like kind of muted color scheme. I need to get a trash bag. Um, then this looks like a washi cutter, which I actually don't have a washi cutter. So I will for sure use this. Usually I just use my ruler, so, but I'll definitely keep this. <gasps> no, wait, oh wait, it's too small for, I was like, it would be really cute to use this as like a divider in my um, character stickers, but it's a little too short, but I'll definitely use it as a washi color cutter as intended. Um, and then they all have cute backer cards that you could reuse if you're doing like a setup or something. This has a bunch of die cuts. I'm not gonna open it, but there's always like a thousand and six. And then it also is hollow foiled. And then um, two journaling cards. So you have like different skin tone options here and here. And both of these are foiled in a um, sparkly hollow, which is gorgeous, which is, I just feel like it fits this theme. Um, then you also get a sticker book, which I always think are really, really pretty. Both hers and also paper. The paper is a little bit on the blue side, but it's so pretty. These are 1.5 by 1.9, I believe. So like the standard like Erin Condren size. They are foiled in hollow, sparkly hollow? Yes, yeah, sparkly hollow foil. They are gorgeous. I think that there's a really good variety of boxes in here that you can make a full spread for sure or multiple, especially if you're using this in a smaller planner, like maybe a A6 or a B6. I feel like you could do multiple spreads using this. You get a ton of stuff and then some like larger stickers, a Hopanichi style setup situation, and then some deco stickers, super cute. And then last but not least, you also do get some papers. Which maybe I'll do like a mermaid setup sometime. I feel like I'm lacking on the setups. I used to do them all the time, but now I like to just set up my planner for the year and be done. So the first thing here is a sparkly hollow stars, hearts, dots, sparkles, and seashells. And then there's also a foiled version with on um, vellum that has like a really pretty pink, blue to green ombre. And then you have the papers which have just really pretty designs on them. You get two of each and they are double sided. So there's one set. Oops, let's see this one, this one. Hmm. This one looks like it wasn't printed on the other side, which is strange. There's that one. And then there's this one. Which I like that there's an option for this way too. So if you're doing like an A5 wide, you could do that. So I love those. Super cute. Um, let's go in. If you, if you guys, I'm like a little on the slow side today because I've I've been it's been a productive day. Haven't had many of those recently, so I'm like definitely on like slow speed slow and kind of like just tired let's go into my color pop order i don't usually haul like i usually haul like wax and like stickers and wax and stickers but every once in a while i throw a makeup order in here i used to wear makeup like every day not so much anymore it's like a goal of mine one day to wear makeup again but i don't do a ton um tbh so actually 
I'm gonna do this one last because I y'all swatch some stuff, which is fun. And bring me back. Let me do that one last. So let's do Simply Gilded first. Cause I'll swatch some stuff and then I can go use a makeup remover to remove it. But yeah, I used to wear makeup all the time. I don't anymore. Every once in a while I'll put it on for fun. But I'm just kind of lazy. So let's go through this order. I placed an order during the pre-sale. I think Kitness just told me about this. So there is a journaling card with like a rose gold moon situation, a clear bow sticker. And then this is the little freebie with a full box, heart checklist and icons. And then there's also another freebie of inky bold bows with rose gold. And then I just purchased this um, set. This has sriracha and then sriracha and some pho, which just sounds so delicious. I just like love sriracha. I used to only use sriracha, but now I'm also like dabbling in other like spicy sauces. Um, so Cholua would be my second favorite, but sriracha is definitely at the very, very top though. Like a breakfast taco and sriracha. Mm, just give it to me. Let's go into my order from Once More Love. I thought that was really cute. So I needed to pick it up. And I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure Jess of Kittenish Jess told me that I need to be purchasing that. There is the journaling card. Actually, I have a D-Sash box going and I think I have like 12 of those cards. So I placed an order during one of Marg's new releases. I actually don't know if I'm gonna use these, but I ordered them because why not? Okay, so the first thing here is the, okay. This is the freebie for May. I'm actually gonna place an order today, I think. Possibly, or I think I placed an order recently. I have all of my freebies over here that I need to go through. So I picked up some sheets. Some of these are newer, some of them are older. So this one's an older one, it's a Hawaii sheet. I did just go to Hawaii with Kane of Print Impression and I wanted to have some Hawaii stickers. I do have this sheet, but I feel like half of the stickers are missing from the last time I went to Hawaii, which was with Kane and Marg two years ago. Then I also got the Party Time, which I believe was new, the Relaxing Spa, which is super cute. The airplane, which I did go on an airplane for the first time in forever. Theater, family time with five, because if you guys didn't know, we're going to be a family of five in December, which I will go more into that in like a future video. Then there is I Can Go The Distance, which is the Hercules sheet, the Out There, which is the um, Hunchback of Notre Dame sheet, which I haven't watched that movie in forever. It's not one of my favorites at all. And then the Baby First, because again, third baby be proud which is a really really cute pride sheet treadmill 2.0 because one day i will work out pillow time which is super cute i love just variations of like kind of sleepy tired stickers and then this is the black lives matter sheet so it has some of the stickers from the like heart sampler that you could buy last year the running 2.0 which again could be for working out but could also be for if you're like in a hurry and then the duck um sheet because this is also me a lot of the time and then also the glasses which i don't know how often i'll use but i thought that they were really cute and then i did pick up some of the larger sheets as well so there is the two pregnancy countdowns which again i don't know if i'm going to use these it would be really cute we will see because i like the little like pictures maybe i will because i haven't like marked any weak stuff down yet even though like i have planned when I knew I was pregnant so I might use these because I feel like between the two I should be able to like pick colors that match and then it'd be something like different because with TT I did the whole like foil thing and then I also got the post-covid bucket list which I always forget to use like bucket list you know what I mean like I feel like they just always end up never getting put in the planner but I just thought this was really cute and a lot of things that would be really exciting to mark if i remember so that's everything from once more with love then i have an order in from caress press she came out with um uh, she came out with these um tropical what did i order yeah tropical foil bundles and i did get the mini or not the mini the not full i don't know is there a full and a mini i don't know um, but I got two in silver, two in sparkly, 
two in sparkly hollow and two in regular hollow. So I'll show you it in silver because it's the easiest to see. But no, they are all the same. And then I remember texting Maggie and I was like, um, where's gold? And gold was a part of the mystery. So she released that like last week. So I ended up ordering some of those. I feel like I ordered maybe more than two of them though. So her mini comes with um, the full box sheet, which I think, I don't remember if, I feel like, oh yeah. So I think that there was an oops because this has like an extra bit of stuff and this is supposed to be like a double box but if she wouldn't have mentioned that i probably wouldn't have noticed but if you really like the double box look just cut that off and then you can use that somewhere else like even just putting it on um like a half box would be really cute also i hate the color of my nails i don't know why but my nails like absorbed like some kind of sunscreen or something that's like the only thing i can think of they're supposed to be white but they look yellow so i need to get those done but they're not dirty they're just literally stained and I, i'm pretty sure it's sunscreen they look worse on camera than in person but anyways so you get the full box which i thought were really cute i feel like maggie's doing some really cute like themed ones and then there's scripts icons whole reinforcers and numbers so this page is the same through all of the bundles and then the other two pages change and then this page here has the glitter header overlays fancy glitter header overlays two different bonamashi overlays and then some deco bits and yeah so it's a perfect little kit you can either get it the three page or you can get the five page which is the five page does have the bougie boxes so if you need more of those you can do that so I bought those. I think I have, I might actually be in my mailbox. I think I have another order from Maggie in there. Then I also have this package from Plana Hannah, which she's such a cutie patootie. Um, she texted me asking me for my address and sent me a bunch of stuff. So this is going to be in the shop for the second, which I feel like I may have this video up before the second, um, but yeah. She's, she's just so cute and this is all my post-its too which is so cute okay so let's go through these i haven't actually opened this yet i just got home from what feels like never being home oh wow okay um i didn't realize there was this much stuff dang okay but i didn't look i haven't looked at any of it yet so let's go through this so oh wow did you hear my stomach growl that's i i cannot wait to tell you guys about this pregnancy because it's been so weird but basically, I've lost seven pounds in four weeks, despite going on two vacations and eating a lot of like stuff that I wouldn't normally eat. Um, but I basically am like hungry every like three hours for like a toddler sized portion snack. And that's been my life. So I feel like my stomach growls after eating because I just don't eat a lot, but we'll get into that later. So these are the little pregnancy stickers, which are so dang cute. I don't think I've seen these in her shop, so I'm assuming they're new or coming but she sent me in rose gold gold silver and hollow which i'm actually probably just going to keep these out because i feel like i'm going to use these a ton and they're like the perfect size for a fancy label and you have like little pregnancy tests little ultrasound um like an empty one of them with a baby in it and then a little heart with a baby in it and like a little circle with a baby in it a little belly with a baby in it and then little feet which are really cute so i love those i'm just gonna like I just need to keep those out because I, I want to use those up. So we're not doing this again, guys. We're not doing this again. This is the last one. And then she also sent me these Taurus stickers, which I am a Taurus. So cute. I love these. And this is in like a hollow waves. That's adorable. And then it looks like she sent me a ton of like her underlays. So like literally a bunch. So let's go through these. She sent me two of each and these are all in different colors. I don't know like what the colors are, so we're gonna make up names as we go. So these are red stars, which are super cute. These would be perfect for the 4th of July. I would assume these are new coming 7-2, but if you're a back planner like me, memory planner, you could totally pick these up for the 4th of July. Um, I love those. Um, or they look good with like January mystery or anything that has stars. And then these are tropic, and this is in a hot pink magenta foil. So you have like different tropical flowers and dots and such. This one's called Baywatch and it's in a really pink, pretty pink foil. Um, it actually looks very similar to like our rose, but a little, our rose is a little matte. Um, so these just have little one piece and then little bikinis. It's a very like subtle pattern, which is nice, but I feel like with boxes over top of it, it'd be nice because you can see the little swimsuits. And then this one is Flying Bugs. 
So this one has little flowers and little kind of like asterisk flower. Oh wait, no, those are little dragonflies. They look almost like little asterisk, but they have like little antennas. So this is in a like orange, like a blood orange foil. Then there's this one here, which is in a gold hollow, which is lemonade, which has a bunch of lemons on it. And then this one is camper, which just has a bunch of campers in a, I would say like an emerald green foil. And then this one, is this, a, this is different. This is almost like a matte-ish foil. It's like a green, like a, like a true leafy green. And this is palm leaves. Super pretty. Oh, this would be pretty for 4th of July too. This one's called Night Sky. It's funny because I'm actually not using like a 4th of July kit this year. I'm just using like a pool outdoor party kit, which I'm using the mystery, the colorful one. I don't know if that was June, May, I don't know. Um, but these would be super cute with that. And I love how small these are. Again, I feel like whenever you're putting stickers over them, you'll be able to see this pattern perfectly. And this is in a really pretty like royal blue foil. Oh, this one's neat. This is in a like turquoise teal foil and this is called Beach Please and it just has a bunch of different um, like beachy summer icons. And then this one's called Coral and you have just the coral throughout. This would look really pretty with, hold on. Look really pretty with the June Mysteries. I think the other one was May, but I think they'd be really pretty together. Or like the Ariel kit. But if you got this in like gold and silver, I feel like this would just be really nice with a lot of like summer spreads, but this is a really pretty, um, like a tea blue almost, like a shiny tea blue, if that makes sense. And then this is a really pretty violet and it's palm trees. And these are just little mini palm trees. I like how all the stuff is, is really teeny for the most part. So that, like I said, you can see like the, like when you put a box, you'll still be able to see the design. This is florals and a really pretty, like darker lavender, almost like a lilac, I guess, maybe? I think so. And this is just really pretty florals. I think this would look really pretty with like a Mother's Day kit or anything kind of girlier. And then this last one is B-Day. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Um, so it has a bunch of presents and this looks like it's in a like shattered glass hollow. Hannah, if you needed help with names, I just I just got you on most of them. So that is everything from Hannah of Planet Hannah. I love you so much. You're such a cutie. I'm so sad because she was in Austin, but it was like in prime, like I'm either throwing up or so nauseous that I just like can't live. Um, but I hope to meet her soon because she's such a cutie and I'm so excited for all of this stuff. So thank you, Hannah. And again, her new releases are on 7-2. For some reason, I put this up after 7-2. I'm sure you can still pick them up um right now so check that out then let's go in to fantasy box before i get into the color pop stuff i'm so excited about the color pop stuff though because it's malibu barbie and i just love malibu i love i love barbie in general but like was it just yeah it's malibu barbie so that's just a vibe so this was the little mermaid release i'm kind of behind i don't even think i posted about this one on instagram i feel like a terrible person or maybe i did did I smell these? I did. I remember smelling these. Um, but I think I got them like really late from work. But they're really cute. Maybe I did show them on Instagram. I don't know. But they came in this really pretty purple mailer. I think the extras are currently in shop now. So check them out. So this was the little freebie that I did for the bundle. So you can't get this anymore, but it's so cute. These little cups will be coming to the shop on the doodle sheet, and I just did them in colors that kind of reminded me of The Little Mermaid. I think I actually might have pulled the colors from the Ariel set that I did recently. I thought it was super cute. Um, so let me show you guys the bundle first. So the, um, I feel like I have to burp. I know I need a drink for sure. That's another thing. I drink like 13 gallons of water a day. So I have Eric, which is sea salt, lemon, flower, almond milk. Let's open that one first. Let me show y'all. Cute. This one smells really good. I think this one is my favorite. Is it? I'm pretty sure. It's just a really soft, like beachy scent. I get a lot of the sea salt, which I'm a fan of, but I haven't been using my warmers recently but I think I can start soon and I'm probably gonna use that one first. And then this one's Ariel, which is coconut water, sea lily, and lemon zest. This one's really pretty too. It's really light and soft. It almost reminds me of something 
my mother-in-law would like and usually that's like not a compliment but this is a compliment because it's like if my mother-in-law like sense that actually smelled good shade i know but i tell her and she knows then okay then um this is sebastian which is frozen margaritas which i'm scared to smell this one um it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. A lot of like alcohol scents, even when I'm not pregnant, make me want to gag. There was one by, I think it was Pink Barn. Oh God, that was terrible. This one doesn't really smell too bad. I can't really put my finger on what it smells like, but it smells just like a fruit or a berry. Sorry if you can hear that. I think Nick's washing dishes. And then this one is Flounder, which is Ocean Sea Spray, Driftwood, and Oak Moss. This one also is really nice. I love all of these ones. I think that they're all just really good kind of soft scents. Then there was also a clamshell released with that bundle. So it wasn't like you didn't get the clamshell with the bundle, but you could purchase it as like an add-on. So this is called Ursula and this is Blackberry Lemonade. I think, what, I think I smelled these at work or I discussed it with Kirsten because I remember saying like some of them sounded scary, especially the frozen margarita one. And this one I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna like that, but I like all of them a lot. Because I think that they're all kind of soft and not soft in a way that like there's not enough fragrance oil in them, but soft in just that I feel like the scents are just really pretty and like light, but still like smell. Do you know what I mean? This one's really nice though. I really like the blackberry mix with the lemonade because it's fruity, but it has that like zinger of the lemonade. I think it's a really good one. Honestly, I feel like all of them are really good. Even the frozen margaritas, which is the one that scared me. So 10, 10 stars. Then let's go into the little um, 4th of July bundle. I don't know if this one's a la carte in the shop. I feel like this might have been limited to the bundle. I'm not sure. But check out the shop and you'll maybe find some things that you need. So this one here is called Blue. And this is Zucchini Bread and Sugar Cookie Royale. I think this was their first, like, I don't remember what they called it. They said something on their um, Instagram post, like their first, like, mix or something. I don't know. It smells so good though. This is probably one of my like top five favorite scents. So yum. Then there is red, which is hot apple pie, which is so good. It's just that classic apple cinnamon baked good smell. It's just perfect. And then this one is white, which is summer scoop, which just has a very like light, creamy vanilla scent. So that is everything from Fantasy Wax. Uh, they just did their Halloween pre-order. I know it's not available currently because it just closed today. I don't remember if they said that. I think they said maybe extras would come to the shop. I don't remember. I remember she said something about something in the, um, the YouTube video. But I'm like kind of obsessed. So check that out. Oh my God, I'm going to freak out. So this is the ColourPop Malibu Barbie collab. And I kind of want to save this. Because first of all, look at the outside. Wouldn't this be like a cute little like pocket setup? And then the inside, look at the inside. You got Barbie and sunglasses. Come on, I'm gonna save the boxes because it's just a thing. So I ordered the whole bundle because I'm a crazy person for Barbie, like literally a crazy person for Barbie. And look how cute, you can see yourself. That's my camera. I used to have a white one, but I bought a black one. Um, and that's my wall and then there's some like planner stuff and the undo bottle but i'm gonna put this in my travel little thing because i always need a mirror and i don't have one but like how cute is this little barbie mirror i love it then i also got well i got the bundle right so it came with lashes these are not like anything that i would wear i feel like when i wear lashes i usually wear demi wispies by ardell um, but maybe like one day I'll go crazy or I can wear these for like Halloween or something because they're very dramatic. And I mean, just the packaging is adorable. And I mean, come on, so there's that. And then I just think everything is so pretty. And again, I'm saving all the packaging cause I want to use it. Like even look at the inside of this one. It's the planner girl's dream. Love that. So this is the, oh my God. This is the palette, which again has a bunch of colors that I probably normally would not use but like come on it's it's barbie and like this came out after my anniversary but like these colors are literally my anniversary kit colors it's just perfect because it's so barbie like 
it's just Barbie, 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 and Barbie. So obsessed with those. Again, I don't normally use like bright colors on my eyeballs, but it's Barbie. So we had to. And like, come on, they're so pretty. And there are some like neutral colors in here. Like, I feel like this is a really pretty one. You can see me. Uh, uh. Okay. I'm wearing my Jughead shirt that Brian and Kirsten got me for Christmas as a joke. I think they thought that I wouldn't like it, but I'm actually obsessed with it and I still wear it all the time. So jokes on you guys, cause it's my fave. So then the shock highlighter palette, which again, packaging is being saved. Super cute. So this here, let me open this up. How do I open this? This is huge. Oh my God, how do I open it? I don't think I'm used to like, oh dang. Okay. So it's a huge mirror, which is actually perfect for travel. And it has like a little fuzzy thing on it. And then this is the highlighter. I'm actually hungry. And I'm like thinking, what am I going to eat? I feel like it looks kind of fragile. Let's use my thumb. This looks like it might be really pretty though. I didn't look up like swatches of any of this stuff. It's kind of dark, but I feel like it could work well if I was like tan, which I am kind of tan now but like that's pretty i actually probably just use it as like a highlighter i'll figure it out but it's super cute come on it's barbie it's barbie i can't oh my god look at it it's so cute i can't i literally can't i literally can't so there's that and then there is a lip duo oh my god guys just want more barbie stuff jess is also always sending me and no, i'm gonna keep this too barbie stuff and she's like andrea and i'm like yes i saw it i need it i want it i bought it Bennett had a Barbie birthday party last year. Today was actually, we didn't bring his Barbie dream house from the old house yet. We haven't like actually moved because I'm lazy. Um, so this is the lip liner. It's actually a really pretty lip pencil. It's called Golden Beach. I would definitely use that. And then this is the Golden Beach Cream Lipstick. Oh my God, it's so cute. This is Barbie on the side. Um, but he was just complaining today that he misses his Barbie dream house. So I have to go get that from the house. Hopefully we move soon. So those are pretty similar in color. I would say the lipstick is definitely a little bit lighter, but this is something I would for sure wear if I was ever in the mood to wear lipstick. I think a lot of this stuff is still on the website. I feel like they're collabs. Even if they sell out, they normally restock them. I feel like the Animal Crossing one sold out and then they restocked it. So like you can check because I feel like it might be on there. And then this one is called... Malibu Sunset. So this is a little bit more of a berry color, which is kind of wild for me. I don't know how good that would look on me. I haven't worn any like bright lip colors since like three years ago, I think. And then the last one, oh God, this one's so pretty. I didn't, you can tell, I really didn't like look at what I was buying. I just saw it was Malibu Barbie and I was like, okay, cool. This one's kind of an in-betweener because it has like the nude but also like more of a pinky look, but not as pinky. So this one is definitely also one that I would for sure wear. This one might just be a collector, but like that one's really pretty. Looks like the lipstick that I always wore, like Mauve It Over, I think it's how you pronounce it, but this one's definitely my top. And like, it's just all so pretty. So I'll leave ColourPop link down below. It's all really affordable. I think the whole Kit Kat and Caboodle was like 70 bucks, which I feel like for a highlighter, a um, eyeshadow palette, a cute little mirror, lashes, and then like lip combos. Is it wild? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. So it's about seven bucks, seven fifty an item ish. Eight bucks and eight bucks. I don't know. You, you get idea. So that is everything for this portion of the haul. Or maybe the haul. Who knows? We'll see. I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, I actually think I have another haul, babe. So I don't think I need to like do an introduction. But you're here. We're par hauling. If you hear some like tapping in the background. They're doing construction work. It's like 8 o'clock. I was trying to wait a little bit longer. But like it's 8, guys. It's 8. So we're just going to film this because I have been cleaning like a crazy person. And my office is like basically like clean. Clean as it's going to be right now. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. I have some like easy stuff to show you guys first and then we'll go into wax last because I feel like I ramble a lot. Um, yeah. So the first thing I got this kind of random I wanted to show you guys is from Friction. I believe that's how you say it. That's how I'm thinking you say it. By Pilot. And these are erasable pens. I love them. They're the greatest. Um, let me give you guys a little 
example if I have any paper around I do okay so I love these they are that's not the one that's one of my old ones you can get them on Amazon I'll link it down below but they are like gel pens and they erase which I have been kind of like functionally planning in a really like basic way with like different colored pens on a really big um, planner but it's nice to be able to write with like a gel pen but then it, to be able to erase it and I honestly feel like these erase better than pencils like I'm gonna go out and say it I think they do because I was using pencil for a while and I feel like I would try and erase so hard and you'd still be able to see the majority of the pencil like where you wrote so I love these if you're in the zone for some erasable pens um, then I do have some stuff that I got in Hawaii that I just wanted to show you guys. So the first thing is I got this super cute little pin. I need to redo my pin board. And then I got a bunch of stickers. You guys know I'm a sticker addict. So I got some of these Duffy and Friends stickers that were super cute, like little icons and things like that. And then some with the characters. They were super expensive in my opinion, but worth it because I'm addicted to stickers. I actually need to do like a vinyl. I need to do a vinyl sticker declutter. I need to do like a lot of declutters to be honest because especially the vinyl stickers, it's kind of a little out of hand. Maybe not even necessarily a declutter and more so, these are so nice because these are like a, like a matte velvet. I love these ones even more than the last pack. Um, maybe more of an organization. It's just so hard to organize like vinyls and some die cuts are thrown in there. Um, but I thought these were super cute. I got these at Ulani when I went to Hawaii a month or so ago. I miss Hawaii so much already. I think it's the most beautiful place on earth. And there is that. I also did get this at the airport and I wanna put it like on my planner this year. Um, and I got one for Kane too because I thought it was so cute. I love the rainbow. And then I did get some postcards that I, I don't want to, I want to send these in the mail. I feel like they'd get so peed up. So I thought these would be cute to do like a setup one day with, or just have, um, maybe if I'm doing like a scrapbook, I really want to like get into scrapbooking for real one day. I've said it like, can you imagine putting a stamp here? I just have seen what like actual mail looks like and just, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it would be a good a good time and then these ones as well are also postcards again i don't think i'd use them as postcards i just don't see them holding up i also feel like this is like asking to get lost but i thought these were so cute so i got those and that's everything that i picked up that was like stationary wise i didn't really buy a ton i bought stuff for the boys and nick um got something for marg and jessica marg wanted this like clearance um Christmas uh, band, headband. I got one too. It was super cute. And she was like, why is it on clearance? And I'm like, because it's June, Mark. So let's go into this. I did get my Sonya Stegeman, um subscription. And I actually upgraded my subscription. I think I mentioned it last time that I um, showed it, that I upgraded it to the like large um, I feel like the price point wasn't like bad and I really have been enjoying the subscription. So this is super cute. So you get like a larger print, I guess it says thank you on it, but it's so, so cute. Love that. Um, you also do get a large washi tape here. So it has like the mermaids and like the colors, the different pieces. There's also two little candies in here. I am not a huge fan of I don't know, but I actually kind of want to try them. So it's like a sour candy. We'll try those. Normally, I don't really like candy, but we'll try it. And then also there's an enamel pin in here. And it is a really pretty um, gold enamel pin of a mermaid. She's gorgeous. I can't wait to get my pin board reset up. And then you have this package that is beautifully packaged. The package is beautifully packaged. All right. so excited okay so first things first you get a weekly notepad that's really cute 
got your mermaid here and weekly plans with little check boxes. I do feel like you, to be able to write something and then like have check boxes to each, that's like not enough space, but this is super cute. I'm more excited, I think, for the like more like normal notepads that just have room in the middle. And this is gorgeous. Love that. It's probably my favorite graphic so far. Super pretty. And then last but not least, destroying everything. I'm not gonna save that. There is a sticker sheet. That's super pretty. And then some more, oh, these are so nice. These are like, and the last one was also on like a um, matte velvet type paper. And these are so pretty as well. And these are actually postcards. Again, I probably wouldn't use them as postcards because they're way too pretty. Also, I don't really have anybody to write to, so they're staying with me. And then there are three vinyls. Two of them have like a metallic sheen, and these are just so cute. They remind me of Jessica. So maybe I'll put them on my like May dashboard. I think that'd be really cute. So that's everything I got in that subscription. It's super cute. Um, love that. Let's go through my Once More With Love order. Um and see what we have in here. This was the, I believe her half birthday. So there's a journaling card, I have a million of those. Um, there was two freebies I'm really excited about. So this is the um, like Pride Month freebie. So I'm gonna put this with my Pride kit for this month. And then there is the June freebie, which every month that there's like a Pixar movie or a Disney movie coming out, I'm like, Marg, this comes out this day, put it on the freebie. Mark, this comes out this day, put it on the freebie. And this month is Luca, and Luca was so cute. So I am excited to use these in my planner. I haven't watched Cruella yet, but it's on my list of things to do. People said it was actually pretty good for a live action movie. So it's on my list when I have them in. And then this was her birthday bundle. I told Mark she didn't need to send me the uh, pop socket. She could save it just in case, you know, she needed an extra one. Um, but I do love the sticky notes. So it's like an animal theme. So there was a sticky notes, there was a pop socket, and then there was the sticker kit. So let's go through the kit. I feel like I just took out my trash and it's already getting full. So this has the full boxes here. Super cute. Kind of reminds me of like a baby almost. And then you have the ombre art. Well, ombre weekly checklist, weekend banner checklist. Or yeah. Um, flags, habit trackers, three art checklist, three circle head check checklist, I guess. Square boxes, fancy labels, um, half boxes, quarter boxes, and a little bit smaller boxes. I actually formatted this for Marg. She was always complaining about like having to like do her kit format every time she made a new kit. So I made her up a format that she can easily change. So you're gonna see a lot of kits in the future for Marg. And I'm really excited. And like every time she does one, she's like, Andrea, I just like, it's so easy. And I'm like, yeah, once you have a format and you're like set with it, it's so simple. So glitter headers, like little thing type labels an extra full box, bottom washi, and date numbers. But I think it's a super cute kit, super functional. Um, I feel like you could do a full spread with this and it would look really cute and cohesive. So I love that. Then let's get into my last order, which was from Crest Press. I think I might've showed this in my haul, so I won't go through it again, but I did buy four. I don't, I think I bought two of the other ones of the tropical. And I think that, yeah, this was one, the one that like had a misfit because it has like the extra corner. But like I said, if that bothered you that much that this is supposed to be like for a double box, you could just cut this and you really wouldn't be able to tell whenever you're looking at the spread. But it's super cute. And I picked up four of them why I don't know but in the mini format and then I also picked up the mystery because it was Kittenish Jess art so this is a super cute by the pool type kit kind of like luxury vibes like a luxury hotel I think it's super pretty if I wasn't using the Moana kit for the week that I went to Hawaii I would definitely use this. It's super cute. I love the little like sushi plate. It makes me so hungry and the avocado toast because like I'm obsessed with avocado right now it's so, so cute. Uh, and the little hair clips are cute too. Love it all. Then you have your fancy labels, um, half boxes, third boxes, quarter boxes, some headers. 
I get the second smallest or second largest one. So not the one with the ombre heart checklist, but the one underneath it. Deco, squared boxes, heart checklists, and flags. The pattern version of that page with just some like washi strips on the bottom. I think these are the uh, three header size strips on the bottom. Glitter headers, appointment labels, half boxes, quarter boxes. Work class, flight tracker, icons, check boxes, movie marquee, a weekly tracker thing. Habit trackers, weekly trackers, and a heart checklist. Um, more headers, little things and little things without labels. And then the bottom washi, the date numbers, date covers, an extra solid and striped. An extra um, box and a payday flag. And then last but not least, oops, I added on the 15 millimeter strip. And the, oh, that's cute. I like this bag, this uh, box a lot, actually. It's probably one of my favorite boxes. Um, I love like a suitcase flat lay. You guys know I had, I think, like, there was one in the magic. What magic? magic the 50th magic one and then i also have one in the cyber money mystery that's super cute it's like a suitcase flat i love it and then there's some fashion options here along with an alternate skin tone for the box in the front so that is the kit i don't know when i'm going to use it but i thought it was super cute and y'all know that i have to collect them all whenever it comes to dresses art so that is everything that is like planner ish related and now we'll go on to the wax Kirsten so kindly gifted me the new releases and I am excited to show you guys all of the new stuff. So first things first is Brian's favorite. I'm not sure if this will still be available by the time that I have this haul up, but this is mint chocolate chip. So you have like chocolate chip looking things on the top. It's two-toned. Mmm. This is, smells real good. See, whenever Kirsten was talking about it, I was like, kind of sounds gross because like anything chocolate... Sounds nasty. Like, let's be real. Anything chocolate, I'm just not a fan of. But this, and she says this smells exactly like like Andy's candy, which is like my favorite thing in the whole entire world, especially around Christmas time. Mmm. 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 It, it, it literally smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream, which I am like so hungry now for mint chocolate chip milkshake, but I know I'll get one and I'll drink like a quarter of it and it'll be such a waste. I need to get some mint chocolate chip ice cream. I meant milkshake, but... I need to get some ice cream because that would just be nice. People take like two bites of it and be like, uh. and also Halo Top mint chocolate chip ice cream is really, really good. And it's like less calories. So if you want to try that. Um, so the next thing is chocolate frogs, which is like, like I said, not my favorite. So this is a uh, sweet chocolate, but I do think that this would be cool to like mix in with other scents to like play around, like maybe cut the frog in thirds. And then, you know, you could put it with other scents that you think chocolate would smell good with. I'll give it a whiff. Yeah, it smells like chocolate. It smells like just that, like, just the chocolate, chocolate smell. It smells like if you rubbed a bunch of chocolate on your hands and then smelled it. That's what it smells like. Um, let's go through the little baggies first. This one's called Sorcerer's Stone. I didn't know if I mentioned this is like Harry Potter um, Sorcerer's Stone themed. Um, amber, sandalwood, and musk. I like these because you can just put one in. This one smells so good. It smells like something I know, like a body wash or, um, I think it's a body wash. I don't remember what body wash or maybe a perfume, maybe a perfume. I don't know, but it almost has like a caramely smell to it too. Mm, it smells really good, but no, maybe it, it has, I think it's a shampoo because I think I've smelled my hair smell like this. Mm, I don't know, but it smells like shampoo and it smells really good. I don't know. What shampoo is it though? I don't know, but it smells real delicious. I love it. And then there's also happy birthday hair. I think this is one of the ones that sold out first. Um, pistachio vanilla cake, which sounds right up my alley. Mmm. Mmm. I don't smell too much. I smell the vanilla, but the pistachio is, I think, the main main squeeze of that, which is like my jam. I love like nutty scents. I think they're just so good. Then there's the boy who lived, which is salted caramel. I have to order more of Brian's favorite. I feel like all the favorites are so good. And cher uh, cherry slushy was that Avery's. That was my least favorite, but it still smelled good. This one is salted caramel. It almost has like a woody, smoky kind of scent to it. Which is kind of nice because I feel like sometimes salted caramel can just smell like super sweet. 
but it's a nice like i don't know it's like a woodier salted caramel which i like then there's forbidden forest which is warm mahogany cedar wood mm. Mm. it has like that like sexy sexy cedar wood mahogany teak wood mostly mahogany teak wood scent that's good if you know bath and body works mahogany teak wood that's pretty much the same thing remember all cocoa butter olive wood and warm spices i don't even know what this one will smell like mm. Mm. kind of reminds me of a gum i've chewed yeah it reminds me of a gum i don't remember what kind of gum but it smells really good i don't know what i'm really smelling i use the olive wood I don't smell too much of the cocoa butter, which is nice, though. Then there is Troll in the Dungeon, which is oak moss. This is funny. Oh, this one's nice, too. I didn't know what the hell oak moss was, but it smells really good. It's kind of like, an, it does have that, like, outdoorsy, grassy kind of smell, but it's, it's really soft and, like, almost has, like, a light floral to it. I like it. Then there is Wizard Chess, which is tea cakes. I think this one's really pretty. It looks cool. It looks like paint splatters. Oh, wow. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow. This smells like... Almost smells like an almond cake. Like an almond cake with like a lot of butter. Mmm. I don't smell tea. It smells like an almond cake. Like every almond cake that I've ever had... Like whenever, like a really moist, like fluffy almond cake. Like whenever you like, it's not even the smell. It's whenever you taste it. This is the scent. Oh, wow. Okay. I need to get extra of those. Cause that is like, that might be like one of my all time favorite scents ever. Like what the heck? Tea and cakes. I need to know like more of the scent notes on that one. Cause like, it's really doing it for me. Wow. I love it. That one's really good. And then at platform nine and, nine and three quarters, which is fresh coffee and baked pastries. Coffee is another one that I feel like can go either way for me. Oh, mm. this one smells like a store I've been in. I can't think of what store it is. It's not, it's not like a coffee store. Is it McDonald's in the morning or something? No, I can't think of, I can't picture what store it is where you go in and it smells like this. Maybe it is McDonald's, like whenever they have the coffee going. I don't know, but it smells so good and it's really bringing me back. Or some fresh bread, fresh coffee and baked pastries. I don't know, but I've smelled this scent before and it is in somewhere that sells coffee, but I can't put my finger on it. I don't think it's McDonald's, but it kind of does. I don't know. If you guys have smelled this and you guys know what I'm talking about, it smells like a store I've been in. Like they probably have this scent going. It smells really good though. All of these are fire. And then Sorting Hat, which is Cinnamon Sugar Pretzel. She gave me the Slytherin one, of course, because I'm a Slytherin. And I'm pretty sure TT's a Slytherin, too. And I think that Bennett's a Gryffindor. And Nick's for sure Hufflepuff. Mm, this one is Cinnamon Sugar Pretzel. It smells really, really, really buttery, like, as far as the pretzel goes. It's like a buttery, buttery, butter, buttery, buttery pretzel with some cinnamon. Mm, still good, though. These are all so good. The only one that I obviously didn't like is the chocolate one, but that's, like to be assumed but like i said i think that this would be fun to kind of mix in with other stuff it's not the worst chocolate smell i've ever smelled but it honestly reminds me of something from harry potter like maybe i had like a like a scented scratch and sniff book or something mm, it's not bad it's really not bad i love it i love it all and that's that's what i have to say about that today so hope you guys uh like this portion this might be the end i don't know but if it is thank you guys for watching and i'll be, maybe i'll be back in a couple seconds maybe not i'll talk to you guys later bye